Hey, music community, Jeff here, and it's time to show a few CDs. Yes, no vinyl today. We are showing some CDs that have come in recently. One that actually just got into my hands finally uh, that has been released. And let's just jump right into this Saint Immortalizer. Let me tell you the story real briefly about this. Saint, uh, of course, is banned from the 80s, have been a big fan since the 80s, uh, and they, you know, just came putting out great stuff, great stuff. This is the third album with the uh, new singer, so that they've become very stable now with that. Now, a couple weeks ago, we've known this album's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then a few weeks ago, I get a message popped up on Facebook from Richard, the bass player and mainstay leader of the band, I guess you'd say. Hey, Jeff, I got the digital tracks for the album, and I will send them to you if you're interested in reviewing it for the magazine and I'm like absolutely he sent it to me I gave it a listen for a few days jotted some notes down did a review great stuff and then he wrote me the other day and said hey CDs are in I'm sending you one so here we go funny thing about this not funny you know mistakes happen things happen and you may not be able to see this but the name of the album is Immortalizer but it, <laughs> I didn't even notice it never noticed it um, the guy who made the cover posted it on Facebook that he couldn't believe <laughs> the mistake he made and I guess they were already impressed they were already impressing they were already pressed so the covers are what they are maybe they'll be fixed that there's a second run but and the letters are, I told him I said hey the letters are really tight together so it's really hard to see but there's an actual extra I in there so it's actually it says immortalizer <laughs> so uh, could it be a play on the words who knows but anyway extra I it's spelled right on all the spine it says immortalizer it's on the back correctly so that was just funny I didn't even notice it the poster I, the picture I posted on my review has the same cover art didn't even notice it so that's funny but anyway yeah so the, now the actual CD is in hand and uh, you know beautifully done beautifully packaged it has been released on armor records which is the record the label that the band has done stuff on for years I'm pretty sure at some point we'll get a vinyl release. It's been like that for every album. Sometimes the vinyl gets reissued by one of the labels like Garter or Rocks or Retroactive or somebody like that. Um, sometimes the band has done it. So, um, but yes, the CD was sent. Now the the beautiful thing about it too is he also doing some extras. He sent me two of the vinyl type stickers, um, which just absolutely looked lovely. These really thick, heavy duty stickers, you know, there and one of the push pins which I love having these I have a board over there which I used to show used to have in my behind me in my videos I used to make where I've got a whole bunch of different push pins uh, my board is actually I need a bigger board it's actually overflowing with the amount of push pins and stickers and all of that that would stick up there but yes saying I'll put a link down below to the actual review that I did for Heaven's Metal magazine you can check it out and of course they've got video clips and everything so other thing that came in recently is spiritual force um, this at first I saw this and I thought sounds familiar, but I can't remember. I do recall the band has been around since the late night in 95 which first album I think was in like 2003 and I think I had that back in the day um, I don't think I have it anymore But so that I believe was their first album if Discogs is correct. This is their third album in like 21 years <laughs> So they're you know, they're kind of a Texas outfit that only occasionally comes around so but this album, I listened to the digital tracks before I purchased it and was blown away much more than the previous releases um, that I had heard. They sound like a totally different band. They've even got Tim Ripper Owens on here on one of the songs. But I just was like, they have really matured, really come a long way over the years. And so I highly recommend giving this ch a check out. Just look up Spiritual Force, uh, Spiritual Warfare, I mean, Shining Force, Spiritual Warfare is the name of the album. Shining Force is the name of the artist. Look them up, check them out. Um, you know, kind of a just straightforward metal, a little bit of power metal elements in there. But great stuff. That just came in recently. And while I was at it, I picked up one by Damascus. Now, Damascus, The Road to Damascus, an anthology, two disc set of all of their releases. They were one of those bands in the 80s that put out you know custom cassettes through themselves back in the day when people were doing cassettes they were never assigned a band in that sense so they put out a lot of custom cassettes they had a, a, a an ep in 84 they had another one where i'll find you in 84 
Uh, they had Timeless in 87. I believe I actually had that cassette back in the day. Uh, the doors were open in 1990. And then they have a 2024 recording on here, which is new material, which is gonna, which is really cool to hear. The band is very slightly proggy, very Kansas-y sounding keyboards and, and the melodies and stuff. So they're not like a metal band, uh, but they are, you know, very... Uh, like, I really just hear a lot of Kansas-type influences and stuff in there. Now, I saw this band. I'm almost 100% sure. I just feel like I, at some point somebody's going to say, no, they weren't there. But in 1987, I'm 100, almost 100% sure, 98% sure that they played at Cornerstone on one of the little side stages. And I went and saw them. And I recall that. I'm just thinking somebody's going to be, no, that wasn't them. No, somebody else. Because 87 was a long time ago. Anyway. But I'm... Even the picture of them, I'm like, yeah, that's the guys I saw. Uh, you know, uh, that's it. Anyway, like I said, it's a two-disc set. So, packed full of great music. And great to see. These have, This has never been on CD. This has only been a bunch of cassettes out there that are near impossible to find now. So, for them to finally pull out these archives and put these out in a set, it's great to have this archive music from our old days back. So, there you go. Three CDs worth checking out. And, yeah, they would all fall in the category of the Christian rock era. So if you're into that, I'm into that. So I love that stuff. So anyway, that's it for this one, though. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.